Hi students, very good morning. I am Lakshmi. I am working as a teacher. Today I want to share you about NMMS exam. NMMS exam. So I think you heard about the NMMS exam. So NMMS exam. NMMS means here National Merit Cum Merit Scholarship. N means national, M means merit, cum, merit, scholarship. National merit, cum, merit, scholarship. It means um, here who get passed to this NMS exam, they get the yearly scholarship. Okay. So today I wanted to tell you or I wanted to share you about this NMS exam. Okay. This exam is conducting government of Karnataka for 8th standard students so who are eligible here 8th standard students 8th standard students are eligible to take this exam uh, this exam is conducting government of Karnataka only and who are eligible to write this exam who are eligible who are eligible to write this exam means under the NMMS scheme under the NMMS scheme one like scholarships are awarded okay one lakh scholarships are awarded to the students whose income means whose parental listen here whose parental income is not more than not more than not more than one lakh fifty thousand means per annum okay means their income not more than 1,50,000 means yearly income should be less than 1,50,000 they are only that students that age standard students only eligible to take this exam okay then here only government school means who are eligible next only government school students means who are studying in government schools is uh, English medium or Canada medium they are eligible to take this exam and aided and unaided school students also eligible to take this exam but who are but who are studying in residential schools residential schools are some private sector schools these students are not eligible means residential schools means already they are getting all the facilities from the government so that's why they are not eligible to take this exam some private school sectors also not eligible students are not eligible to take this exam this is about the eligibility of the students okay next what is the procedure what is the procedure of selection means how the students are selected in this exam so the state will conduct this exam already I told so it consists two tests means two exam papers two papers they conduct they give okay one is that is ZMAT I think you heard about this and another one is SAT second one okay ZMAT and SAT ZMAT means general mental ability test general mental ability test SAT means scholastic aptitude test scholastic aptitude test so there are two exams one is ZMAT general mental ability test and another one is SAT that is uh, scholastic aptitude test okay again these two uh, question papers ZMAT and SAT uh, there these are uh, conducted conducted na? so these are 90 marks means 90 questions are there in this so you take this uh, ZMAT it contests it consists uh, 90 MCQ questions for 90 marks and like that only SAT also 90 MCQ questions for 90 minutes means one and half hour plus one and half hour three hours you get so ZMAT 90 MCQ questions are there in 90 minutes they give means each question get one minute here and like that also SAT also 90 MCQ questions are there means this is multiple choice questions they give options you choose the correct options and put the right mark in that 
so 90 minutes this is also 90 minutes means so one and half hour plus one and half hour three hours you get here so here z mat means again there are uh, different types of mental ability questions are there uh, let's see in our next coming videos but now see sat sat again it is divided into three parts okay sat is again it is divided into three parts one is maths and another one is sst and next science okay here three uh, three are parts are divided three subjects are there in the sat okay again maths you know three parts are there one is algebra next mental ability uh, algebra arithmetic and geometry again sst has geography political science economics history like that and science also biology physics and chemistry again it is divided into three parts okay this is about the sat sat has 90 mct questions for 90 minutes and again it has three parts maths sst and science okay again here uh, whatever this uh, sat is divided now again here some marks you see maths means marks also distributed here maths is for uh, 20 marks hmm? maths contains 20 questions for 20 marks and uh, like that only uh, maths you see that is 20 marks and SST is 35 marks means 35 questions and 35 marks and science also here 35 questions and 35 marks means total 90 marks are there okay uh, this is about the SAT SAT is 90 mark questions how they are distributed and I given here to see okay mm, again here so this is about the um, GMAT and SAT okay uh, hopeful this video is helpful for you if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you see you in next video I'm going to teach you mental ability tricks one by one in next videos thank you bye bye